a police officer had me put my hands on his squad car so that he could frisk me. He ran his hands up and down my legs just like in the movies. He seemed alarmed by a lump he felt in my pocket and he quickly reached in to remove the object. He seemed a little sheepish when he found that the object was just my bifocals. I hadn't done anything wrong. Someone had filed a false report. The cop asked me a few questions then told me I could go on my way. It was just a misunderstanding. But I'm glad it happened. It was a great reminder of the harassment some people have to put up with every day. From the first moment he approached me, the cop was needlessly rough with me. And when I asked him, what's the problem, officer, he got rougher. I could see it in his eyes, hear it in his voice, feel it in his hands. He threatened me and he bossed me around. He was losing control of himself. He was about to become violent. I don't know for sure how I would have been treated if I didn't wear bifocals, if I wasn't white, if I hadn't answered him calmly, if I was a little younger, if there wasn't a crowd of people watching what he was doing. I have a pretty good idea, though, from the threats he made. This was a suburban cop in a town with no particular crime problem. It was three o'clock on a beautiful sunny afternoon. I was just standing on a public sidewalk. But he was a cop, and I wasn't, so he saw me as his enemy. We have heard so much about our heroic police officers in recent years that some people have forgotten that all too often police aren't heroes at all. They are loudish, cruel, violent, bullying, bigoted enemies of democracy and of all people who like their freedom. Not all cops, of course, but far too many. Even one would be too many. Virtually nothing is done about police abuse. The police departments cover most of it up. The courts are pretty worthless when it comes to helping people who have been mistreated. Politicians have no interest in the issue. So in communities where cops victimize the people they are supposed to be protecting, everyone knows the cops can get away with almost anything. In theory, abusive cops are themselves violating the law. They are criminals. I got a nice reminder of that and I was able to walk away. I didn't get battered by the cops. I didn't have to spend a night in jail or bail myself out. I didn't have to hire a lawyer. I didn't have my personal belongings stolen by the cops. I was lucky, mostly born lucky. Because of the situation of my birth, I only rarely get abused by the police. Other people aren't nearly so lucky.